when you train as at the third month five six inches you're basically suffocating yourself because the waist trainer give marks on your skin do not itch it do not scratch it how bad do you want i heard waist training doesn't work without workout how do you hi welcome back to my channel in case you're new here i'm lydia and if you're not new thank you so much butterfly for coming back to my channel today so in today's video i'm going to be answering all your questions about waist training from start to finish so if you like to hear about it and also learn how to get your waist snatched using guest free products please keep on watching so getting into the questions the first one is does the waist trainer help with back fat and rolls as well or just your tummy yes the guest free trainer helps with your back fat and rolls everything basically on your tummy region like your your waist the rolls on the back the rolls up on you know the bra bulge it's all just fat to be honest and the thing i noticed is if you get a waist trainer that is your size if you use their charts the get fit charts and get your waist trainer that is your size you will definitely see a result with your back fat but if you get one that like really presses you in like really it's too small let me just use that like if you get one that is too small for you it should just push up all the rows upwards like all the fat you know let's not call them rolls it's just fat it will just pull it push it up and then your waist will be snatched and this part not nothing is really done and also when you're putting on your waist trainer if your first hook is down and you keep pushing like you hook it and you push it down you hook it you push it down you hook it you push it down that way you're pulling down the fat so you're telling the fat stay where you are don't move up don't move down and that way when you train it also works on that as well and it helps it's not just for the tummy all around like your whole mid section at the back and the front as well but the tip I've give, i'm going to give you is to make sure you're working on that do it from down up don't wear your waist trainer from up to down how many hours a day is suitable to get results from waist training to be very honest with you the barest minimum is okay eight hours when I first got it, I could only do like 5-6 hours maximum but as time got on and I got comfortable with it, I would wear it sometimes even 24 hours. Don't quote me and say, oh Lydia said you should go wear your waist trainer for 24 hours because that's not healthy and that was, I didn't do it every day but I would say a minimum time for you to see results is 8 hours and as usual, consistency you cannot waste train for one day out of a week and expect to see results or two weeks out of a whole three months or one month period and expect to see results so if you consistently wear your waist trainer eight hours every day you should see your results clean like there's no hurry make sure you get your size so that it's comfortable enough for you to wear and you're not you know stressed out you're not feeling like you're out of breath like you want to faint you can wear strength comfortably eight hours is okay to be very honest but if you want to go the extreme i've done it like if i have something to go for the next day or something like that i just take my teas and i train the i wish train the whole day but the next day there's no single bloating on my tummy you know it's good for like one-off events but that's not sustainable every single day you understand can i see results without working out yes you can see results without working out using your get fit waist trainer you just have to watch what you eat it's very important you can you can use the waist trainer and not work out but you cannot use the waist trainer and still be eating anyhow it doesn't make any sense if you want to see results you have to sort of kind of work on your diet i know everybody hates the word diet even me i used to i, I used to say there's dying diet and i'm not even going to diet but then this helps you lose the weight as well as train your body to get into that figure that you're trying to get into while training see what i'm doing there get into get fit <laughs> but then like you you want to make sure that you just work on what you eat do not eat past 8 p.m like are you a witch that you're eating by 11 p.m in the night or 12 p.m or 1 p.m and you say bad that you're choosing or swallow or indomie 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 no no your diet should be worked on but you can definitely see results without waist training definitely like you will see your body you, you just have to be consistent you will see your body shape out whenever you put on your waist trainer 
do you feel any way like strange headache etc that's because you're giving you're cutting off your blood supply from your main waste region this is where your organs are this is where your your lungs is also kind of in your chest as well so you're cutting that off because it's too tight so that feeling you're talking about i've experienced it when i got waist trainers that weren't my size or i wore it and i wore it too tight you know how you're just overly excited the waist trainer comes with three hooks and then you have to gradually you know wear it on the first hook for like some weeks or months see results your waist will get slimmer you, you move to the second hook you move to the third hook you make the velcro tighter you know you make all of that stuff very tight as you know you're reducing the problem with having this issue where you're feeling dizzy and you're feeling like fainting the waist trainer is too tight that's the first thing it's too tight so even if you get your size and you're not that slim yet to use it in the last hook stay in the first hook and just enjoy the process that's why you're feeling that way your waist trainer should feel like a very tight bear hug it should not feel any way less or more just like you're being hugged really tight so if you're feeling like somebody is trying to snuff the life out of you you're doing it wrong and get fit has a wide range so you cannot say you are you're a triple xl for instance like you're a bigger girl your waist is like maybe 42 43 inches and you want to go and use an xl because you think that's going to give you a result faster that's where you experience having these headaches and having all these seizures because it's not your size you're basically suffocating yourself so i don't have that i started with get fit properly they helped me choose my size and i started with that big size while i was big and now i'm trying to get to a size medium get fit is very amazing because it offers you the opportunity to have different sizing still with one waist trainer so just try to make sure you get your size and you won't have this issue if it's too tight you feel you're basically suffocating yourself so you feel like you know when you're breathing and your stomach is like going out and in like when you can't do that you're suffocating how long before you started seeing results so um when i started doing waist training when i was that was last year 2020 was when i started waist training so in the beginning when i still had a lot of fat and i was not you know my body hadn't started burning fat the way it was meant to at the time i didn't see any results as quickly and while i kept up keeping like every day eight hours i'm not going to lie to yourself some days maybe like some weeks you know you want to flex you want to eat everything it's like no i don't wear my waist train on the weekends to be honest with you but like while i'm working out if you guys want to see my workout routine wearing my waist trainer let me know down below okay but like while working out and trying to lose the weight it's the same thing it's just consistency but to answer your question how long did i to go before i could see a result was the month i think as after a month i lost one inch and then it made me really excited so i went down from like 48 to 47 46 ish then i you know kept up you know watching what i ate i didn't eat late and i also worked out as well and then gradually like as at the third month i had lost almost five six inches as at the third month but like after that five six inches then it took some time again the, the waist shrinkage took like it slowed down i think I, it's called a plateau i plateau generally even with weight loss i plateaued and then it started reducing again before it got to the 10 inches i lost so it's not going to take too long but you have to be consistent and don't be in a hurry you know you're trying to do this for life make sure that you're in this for a long term because trust me waist training works does the waist trainer give marks on your skin um no it doesn't get fit is super soft the fabric is super soft and it helps you just maintain that figure without being without biting into your skin the inner part is lined with um, a, a fabric that is really nice on the skin it's not harsh and the rods as well don't dig into your skin so you would see marks like definitely from even when you wear like a uh, how do i explain even when you wear some really tight clothing like leggings or bra you know how you still see your your the signs you see the signs that you wore something that constricted your skin but it, it didn't it didn't injure me or it didn't cut me 
another thing i learned to do is to also wear like camiso inside before i wear my waist trainer so every time even if i don't want to wear even if i'm wearing something sleeveless i don't want the hand of the camiso to go through but i'm it's showing is um i want to wear my waist trainer you know maybe to go to the gym or to go somewhere and i just want to put the waist trainer on my outfit or underneath my outfit i just wear the waist the uh, um camisole and i remove the, i don't wear the hand the sleeve the tiny sleeve i just put it in and i wear it so once i do that i do not see any marks on my skin and another tip i'm going to give you once you remove your waist trainer your, your skin tends to be a bit itchy because you know there's not been a lot of it's not just been in its you know free state so it's been constricted for the amount of hours you used it your waist trainer so your skin will be itchy do not itch it do not scratch it that's what's going to give you an injury rather just like get an oil maybe shea butter coconut oil anything and just massage it so your skin relaxes back you know don't especially if you wear it to the gym and you sweat or you use it to do um activities you're not just sitting around in it do not scratch it so that you don't enjoy yourself at that point your skin is very fragile um so if you scratch it it's very easy for you to enjoy yourself this one is from my baby he says i just want to have a small waist like you man you're not even serious i don't know what you want to do with tiny waist i like your waist the way it is <laughs> please how long do you wear your waist trainer and is it possible to lose weight with just the trainer yes it's very possible to lose weight with just the trainer but you have to watch i'm screaming this so you will hear it you that you're watching me you have to watch what you eat if you're just going to put all your hope in the waist trainer and you're not helping the waist trainer work for you you will say it's not working you will say oh lydia is lying to you and i'm not i'm telling you what works for me you have to watch what you eat you do not have to work out oh. if you're someone that is just looking to lose your tummy fat or just to shape up your mid region you're not like me that was you know super big and i wanted to lose fat everywhere on my body do you understand that's why i was working out obviously obviously you can't be wearing waist trainer and expect to lose weight on your thighs on your arm or on your yeah thighs arm now i think those are the major places the waist trainer covers this mid region maybe your boobs when you want it smaller you can't expect the get fit to help you lose weight on all those other places do you understand so you just watch what you eat and then waist train the weight will come off don't be in a hurry this is not a one-off thing like it's not a quick fix just take your time consistency also the fact that you're you know watching what you eat and you will lose the weight here you're not going to lose weight on your thighs you're not going to lose weight on your you know your upper back like basically anywhere the waist trainer is not touching it's not magic so if you want to lose weight on all those places as well as on your midsection while the waist trainer is helping you walk, watch what you eat even if you don't want to work out just watch what you eat can you recommend another waist trainer brand for people that can't afford the one you use i really do not know any other waist trainer brand that i would recommend to you wholeheartedly because i love to recommend things that i have used before now telling you about get fit i used it for a whole year so you can't i can't tell you something uh, how do i explain this i can't tell you to use something i have not used so i wouldn't know what to recommend but i'm quite sure I, if I'm not mistaken, Get Fit allows you to pay instrumentally. But I'm quite sure if you really want that snatched waist, you can save up for it. Like even if it's one one k, just twenty times to put that one k together, and you get your money for your waist trainer, and it lasts a long time. The material is really durable. I'm going to link the first video I did here so you can see the material and see everything I'm talking about. But the material is really durable and it will help you very well it will help you snatch that way so if you want it i think the question right now is how bad do you want it because you're paying for the quality you're not just paying they're not just charging you because they just want to charge you're paying for the quality of the waist trainer and for it to work do you want to buy something else from like all these um sites that maybe they will sell you for like maybe 5k 6k and then you end up not seeing results doesn't make any sense so why waste money buying those cheaper ones two times three times when you can just buy one good get fit and then you're good to go till you you know really slim down from that one and then you have to move to a smaller size trust me when you start to see results you'll be so excited you won't know when you buy more so just try to save up for your get fit trainer and get it 
it's better to buy a one-off good purchase than to buy those other ones and like oh this restrainers don't work for me i didn't see any results because some don't even have any technology put in place to help you lose weight meanwhile get fit does so try to just save for it you know how bad do you want it if you want the tiny waist save up for it you will get your money just save up gently even even if it's over a period of two months three months you can save 20k and you can get that snatch waist that you want can you wear your get fit after giving birth get fit has different products they have the ones they just have i'll put them across the screen but they have a lot of products and there's one that's called the postpartum belt or there's one that is very good for postpartum so it's like very good for people that had um, babies and they're trying to get their tummy to you know get back how it was before the baby so i'm going to recommend that to you yes you can wear your get fit trainer but if you did like cs maybe and the wound is still healing just relax and allow the wound to fully heal enjoy the process of you know getting to know your newborn just enjoy the process don't be in a hurry to snap back all those people you see online they are fake don't be in a hurry to snap back you get your get fit waist trainer that you're going to get the one for postpartum and to be honest you can wear any one but if you don't have an injury like from cs you can pretty much use any of their products and you'll be good do you wear these trainers to go about your daily activities if yes does it show through your outfit so for the one i showed in my last get fit video the red one the ruby waist trainer you cannot wear it underneath your outfit because it will not be fully concealed because of the velcro in the front but they have another product which i'll show you on the screen here that goes underneath your outfit you can buy that instead and then when you don't want to wear the velcro you can take off the velcro and you just have the slimming part so yes they have a product that you can wear underneath your waist trainer and yes you can wear it to go about your daily activities that's when you even see more results when you wear it to school wear it to work wear it at home where to do the cleaning the chores pretty much you can wear it through your whole activities underneath your clothes I'm going to put it again across the screen can slimmer people wear waist trainers i am a 25 inch waist Woo! that's where i'm trying to go to girl you have my dream waist but i know i will definitely be like bigger than you i'm not slim so yes a slimmer person can wear it get fit has waist trainer sizes from extra small xs to 5xl xxxl so you can get any size even if you want a slimmer figure and you're not you know you're not your waist is tiny already 25 they have extra small extra small will be able to snatch your waist and give you that shape that you're looking for so yes a slim person can wear waist trainer and get fit has got you covered i heard waist training doesn't work without workout how true is this it does even workout does not work out only with workouts you have to diet so if you're losing weight you have to make sure you watch what you're eating and that way is going to the waist trainer is going to snatch regardless it's going to shape you up but you know you're looking for it to be smaller and if you keep eating ever to expand it and you're trying to wear waist trainer you're not helping the waist trainer work it will work without workout but it cannot work without you stopping to eat ever in the middle of the night by 2 a.m yes i said it ever and me because i know i know i was i was there once with you i was there so you have to make sure you watch what you're eating that's it like just watch what you're eating and waist trade come back and tell me how snatched your waist will be you just have to be consistent don't listen to what everybody says to you or what you see online or whatever even though i'm online telling you to waist trade <laughs> but don't listen to what anybody says about it. everybody talks and they have their opinions just do what works for you i'm just telling you what works for me i waist trained i watched my diet and i worked out because i wanted to lose weight on other parts of my body as well guess what helped me get my you don't understand my back used to be like i was a mother of 22 people and look at me like it works you just have to be consistent that's just what i'm trying to tell you all those ones that they'll say waist trainer shifts your organ when you're pregnant your organs will still shift the organs are that is why they are inside fluid they are still going to shift to get your your size that is not snuffing the life out of you and making you not breathe properly 
don't be a size 47 i'm going to go and buy a size for a size 29 or 30 i'm hoping you will slim down to that it doesn't work that way it's a process buy your size trust the process you will see your waist get sexy you'll see yourself getting your sexy back okay that brings us to the end of the video thank you for watching up until this point i hope you enjoyed watching i hope i answered your question because i'm trying to just streamline them so this video is not too long would you like to see me do more stuff with my waist trainer like working out my day-to-day -day activities let me know down below and i'll definitely film that for you in vlog styles but i'm going to bring you guys on this journey this year like i lost 10 inches last year i know it might not be a lot or it might be more but i'm definitely going to make sure i lose more inches this year I'm using my get fit trainers and i'm going to bring you along with it once again this is a very worthy like investment take it from me that's bought a few from them if you really want to get your waist snatched there's really no price on sexy you know what i'm saying no price if you want it that bad you have to get it you have to work for it so save up if you need to do whatever you need to but get a waist trainer today and also watch what you eat as well i do have a code with get fit and it's lydia 10 just that whenever you're shopping on get fit either on the website or on their instagram page make sure you use the code lydia10 you know that they gave that code to me just because a lot of you are going to be interested in it so in case you go and you use that code more and more they'll definitely be more open to making the code you know make us have more discounts like give us more maybe a 20 percent off instead of a 10 percent it depends on how much you guys let them know that you're using my code and you're using it to get money off your order okay i'm never going to stare you wrong i mean i tried this out for a whole year before telling you guys about it i didn't just jump on it and tell you about it so it works it does work if you're someone that doubts waist training try it with get fit watch what you eat come and thank me later okay okay Give this video a thumbs up guys, subscribe to my channel in case you enjoyed watching this video so you do not miss future uploads from me. Let me know if you want to see any more videos like about waist training, what I eat, how I work out with it, how I, you know, basically just got my figure. Let me know down below now. Leave me comments with your butterflies, okay? I love you butterflies so, so much and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah! Mwah!